what's happened everyone? So this week's lesson is a tapping lick utilizing our E minor arpeggio. We're in standard tuning finally. <laughs> Let's get to it. Alright, so here is the lick slowed down. What we're doing is we're using these arpeggios in a triplet feel. Um, an E minor arpeggio or any minor arpeggio is uh, going to be your 1, your minor 3, and your 5. So an arpeggio is basically a broken down chord. So if you look at your E minor chord, you have E, G, and B. And when you separate those notes or play them individually, that's when you arpeggiate them. So our first shape is going to be starting at the 12th fret. That's just E, G, B, E, G, B, E in sequence. The second shape, we're going to shift up a few frets. And then we shift up once again to this 19th fret area. Alright, and so we're just going to be outlining those different notes in those three different modes or shapes. Each string is just a different group of those three or you can call them an inversion. So the first arpeggio is just E, G, B. And what an inversion is, is when you take that first note and you kind of move it to the back of the chord or you start on the second note of the chord. Um, so if you want to get technical, the next part of the lick is first inversion. Um, but we don't need to get that crazy. Basically you got E, G, B, and then you're going up and doing G, B, E. <laughs> And then you start with root position again, E, G, B. And then we're going to G, B, E. B, E, G on that second string. And then finally on the first string, we're back to E, G, B. And then there's just a little slide up at that 19th fret. And then we're going to shift up. And then using our two top modes, we're going to be outlining that upper part with our right hand or our tapping hand. And then we're going to be hammering on the notes with the picking hand. Alright, and so after you descend, you got to make sure you get a nice clean left hand approach with those hammer-ons to ascend the lick. And then it's just a, a little lick at the end with the 15, 19, and 20. So you got those two on the first string and the second string, 15, 19, and 20. Kind of follows your E minor arpeggio right there. And then the last one has more of a pentatonic feel, but that's just... There it is. Some tips to help tackle this lick. Uh, get familiar with the three arpeggio shapes. It definitely helps to know where you're going. It's like a roadmap or a blueprint of you know where you need to be going. So take some time to work on those arpeggios with a pick. And then once you know where you're going, this lick is based around tapping those different notes. It's just kind of like connect the dots. For this video in particular, I'm using a fret wrap. It helps to either mute the strings or if you put it kind of behind the nut, it helps with those kind of overtones when you're trying to get clean stops. Um, but make sure you have a good muting technique when using high gain. So if you're going to be using a lot of distortion to help make those notes ring out, um, that's the plus to have an eye gain, but the downside is you get a lot of extra <laughs> sauce. 
So make sure you have a good meeting technique or fret wrap. And uh, yeah, either way, work on making those hammer-ons really solid, taking it slow, taking the time to really mash those notes out. Um, whether you use your first finger or your second finger, personal preference, um, I use either right tool for the right job, but I think using your first finger looks pretty cool, you know, seeing Michael Romeo and, and Eddie Van Halen do it, so yeah. Oh, and, and Tony McAlpine for sure. So that's it for this week's Lesson Lick. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please be sure to subscribe for more Shred content, and we'll see you next time.